Hi, my name is Dave Ross. I'm a software architect in the mainframe software division at Broadcom, working on developing APIs for the IDMS and Datacom database management systems. In this session, we'll take a look at implementation techniques to satisfy a performance monitoring use case using open source tools to visualize performance metrics exposed by an API. Our example will be based on the Zoe API just released for IDMS, but the techniques are general and can be applied to any product that exposes performance metrics through a REST API. Administrators for online systems need to monitor operations to see trends and recognize unusual conditions that can indicate problems. A time series database provides a way to collect performance and operational metrics. The time series database can invoke an API that exposes this data at regular intervals and stores the time slice data for analysis. Dashboards are a powerful way to visualize the time series data and recognize anomalous events occurring in real time. So an administrator can use the dashboard and database query tools to monitor and analyze performance. Here is an example of a dashboard that displays statistics for an IDMS environment in which multiple IDMS systems are running on an LPAR. The types of visualizations can include gauges, counters, graphs, and others. Thresholds can be defined, shown in red in this example, and alerts can be raised when these are exceeded. So let's take a look at a software stack that can be used to implement a dashboard like this. An open source product called Grafana provides the visualization of the metrics. A simple point and click interface makes it easy to create dashboards with panels, queries, and alerts. Grafana can be used to create dashboards for many time series databases. In our example, we chose Prometheus, for which Grafana provides very good integration. Prometheus is a popular open source time series database. It is designed to scrape a system's metrics endpoints and store the data in time slices in the database. It also includes a powerful query language called PromQL. IDMS is a mainframe database management system and transaction server that supports both network and relational data models. It includes a Zoe conforming REST API that exposes real time performance metrics as JSON data. But it turns out that Prometheus does not directly consume JSON. So we need to build a JSON exporter to convert the metrics to plain text. Of course, the JSON exporter would not be needed if you choose a time series database that does accept JSON. IDMS provides a performance monitoring option. This is an example of the terminal display produced by the real-time monitor. As you can see, there are numerous categories of statistics. In this case, we are showing the state of the various storage pools that IDMS is managing. We'll use this metric throughout our example. This is an example of a dashboard showing the status of the program pools as bar graphs. We have defined thresholds shown in red that would represent potential problems when they are exceeded. Other panels show metrics as graphs over time. Here's how the components fit together. The Grafana server provides a browser-based interface to display dashboards. It uses the Prometheus API to make query requests to the Prometheus database server. Prometheus invokes the API provided by the JSON exporter to get performance metrics and stores them in a local database. Note that Prometheus also provides a browser interface to execute queries directly with simple graphics and text responses. The JSON exporter responds to Prometheus requests by invoking the IDMS REST API on ZOS and converts the JSON response to plain text. The IDMS API can be accessed directly or through the Zoe API mediation layer. Zoe APIs provide online documentation of their endpoints. 
For our example, we are interested in discovering the active IDMS systems and getting information about storage pool use on the systems. We need to find out which IDMS systems are running on the LPAR. So we issue an HTTP GET request for the systems endpoint. The systems endpoint returns a list of JSON objects with various attributes of the active systems. We just need the ZOS job name to identify which IDMS system we want information about. Now we use the job name to issue an HTTP GET request for the storage pools endpoint. And we get a list of the storage pools for that system. For our example, all we care about is the pool ID, a number that identifies each pool uniquely and the amount of storage for e used for each pool. As mentioned earlier, Prometheus doesn't process JSON, so we can't point it directly at our API. Instead, it calls our JSON exporter. When Prometheus invokes its metrics endpoint, the exporter invokes the IDMS REST API on ZOS and converts the JSON responses to plain text responses. Note that the exporter is not product specific. The metrics collected are defined in an external configuration file. And of course, our Zoe ZOS APIs are secured just like any other mainframe application. So the exporter provides the required mainframe credentials, which are specified in local environment variables. This is the plain text format, including descriptive comments that the JSON exporter returns to Prometheus. Note that the metric has a name with units identifying labels for the pool ID and system job name, and a floating point value that is returned. The configuration file is in the common YAML format and specifies the port the exporter exposes to Prometheus, as well as definitions of the metrics to be collected. For each metric, the configuration defines the endpoint to get the metric, the JSON path to extract the metric from the response, and the format of the metric as it will be stored in the Prometheus database. Runtime settings, including the base URL of the Performance Monitor API and the user's mainframe credentials are specified in environment variables. The exporter is implemented using the Prometheus client libraries for Python, which provide modules for an HTTP server that Prometheus calls to get the metrics. configuration file specifies the exporter listener port. It also specifies the endpoint to get a list of active systems and the JSON path expression to get the identifier for each system. Although the example is specific to IDMS, the exporter could be used with any API that has endpoints to identify product instances and detailed metrics. Multiple metrics endpoints can be specified each with multiple metrics data attributes. Here we define the storage pools endpoint. Note the substitution parameter placeholder for the job name. Since there are multiple storage pools, we also specify the ID that identifies each pool. For the detailed metrics returned by the endpoint, we define the name as it will appear in the exporter response and the JSON path to get the attribute data. Note the substitution parameter placeholder for the unique pool ID. We set the user credentials and base URL information environment variables. Then we start the Python script that implements the JSON exporter, pointing it at the configuration file that defines the endpoints and metrics. Prometheus configuration is simple and consists of the metrics path, the scrape interval, and the target URL of the API, in our case, the JSON exporter. We just use the default path of metrics and run the exporter on our local host. Then we start Prometheus, pointing it at the configuration file we set up. It does some database housekeeping and then starts invoking the metrics endpoint on our exporter at the interval we set in the configuration file. 
Grafana configuration is even simpler. We just accept the default configuration and start Grafana. It will listen on port 3000 on our local host. Now that Grafana is running, we can point our browser at it. We can create a dashboard and add panels that will display the metrics we choose in the format we like. Or we can modify an existing panel by selecting Edit from the panel's pull-down menu. Here we are editing the storage pools bar graph from our dashboard. We have specified that our data source is Prometheus and we want to query it for the value of IDMS storage pools in use. Note the label expressions that specify the IDMS system with job name sysod108 and excludes data for the pool with ID 255.1. We then specify the type of visualization we want and can change it to a line graph or any of a variety of other options. We can also customize the way the graph looks and set thresholds that can trigger alerts if we choose. A general tab lets us specify a title and other things. Once we have our dashboard the way we like it, we can export and share it. Dashboards are exported as JSON documents. Dashboards can also be implement, imported, and there are many sample dashboards available on the Grafana site and elsewhere. So, we have seen an example of how to use open source tools to monitor database performance with dashboards that visualize metrics data made available by a REST API. You can find more details about the implementation of the JSON exporter in the slide deck for this presentation. And you can email me with any questions about it. Thank you for listening.